Your home should be multi-sensory. Hi, I'm Maya. I make videos about responsible design, conscious consumption and sustainable lifestyle. Most of the people, when thinking of decorating, arranging or designing a home, focus mostly on the visual aspect and that they want it to look good. But your interiors should be beneficial for all your senses, not only for the site. This is the space that you want to spend time in and it should be pleasant in all contexts. If you analyze your space, thinking of all the senses, and if you switch a few things up, it can really change the way that you are feeling in your home. Okay, so let's start with touch. Ask yourself these few questions. What do you feel when you walk barefoot in your home? What do you feel under your hands working by your desk? Are your surfaces cold or warm? And do you have different textures and yeah, surfaces to that? Most of the people will prefer natural warm objects, materials to it feel, but sometimes it's better to have something cold. It can seem more clean and something that is soft. For example, when it comes to tiles, if you have shiny tiles, they will seem cleaner than, than some with added texture. Also, when it comes to fabrics, mostly it's better to go for natural ones in blankets, in cushions, choose wool or cotton. It will be better for your skin. If you have lots of fake materials in your home and you don't really either have a budget to change it, maybe you don't want to change it, maybe you like them, maybe you are renting and it's not your choice, then there are some things that you can do to, to improve your haptical feelings without changing the furniture or renovating the floors. You can add some layers to surfaces that you already have. If you have a floor that is from fake wood and you can feel it, it's cold and unpleasant. Maybe you can add a carpet. Other idea that personally I'm using, I have a desk from fake wood and I also have a cork mat underneath my keyboard and my mouse so that when I'm touching the desk, I'm not really touching the fake wood, but I'm touching the, this cork surface and it's a lot nicer and more natural, more pleasant and I really enjoy it. So maybe this is also something that you could use. Maybe you don't like your table, then use a fabric cloth on it and then you kind of hide it and you feel the material of the cloth. I would suggest once again using natural materials, maybe something from cotton. Textiles and rugs are also good for acoustics, which brings me to the next sense, which is hearing. When it comes to hearing, you should ask yourself some questions like, do you have an echo in your space? Can you hear your neighbors? Or maybe can you hear your partner in the next room? What are the sounds in your space? Maybe you have really loud outdoor. Think of the sounds in your space and which ones do you like, which are bothering to you, what do you want to do with them. When it comes to the sound, mostly we like our spaces to be quiet so that we can relax and maybe add a sound of our own, for example, music. So think if you have a speaker set up that you like and that gives you this really nice ambient music. If you have loud outdoors, then I would suggest investing heavier curtains so that they can isolate you from outside. If you have louder neighbors, then maybe use more rug and you can also use textile art on your walls. Fabrics and materials are absorbing the sounds and the more fabrics that you have in your space, it should be quieter, the echo should be lower. The more fabrics 
and soft objects that you have in your space, it should be better for the acoustics. Next sense that you should think about is the sense of smell. And here you should ask yourself what smell is related to your home? What smell makes you think of your home? Do you like the smell of your house? It can be tricky because we are getting used to the smell that we are living in. So sometimes when you are a lot in your home, you can the smell can get neutral for you, but when you go out and then come back, it should be stronger. It can be good or bad depending on the smell of your house. Here I also like to ask myself what season it is and if the smell of my home is related to the season. You can add a smell into your home by lighting a candle or some air fresheners. Mostly we want to focus on natural smells and scents so that it's healthier for you. You don't really want to add more chemicals into your ecosystem. Also this can be tricky because sometimes we have smells that we can't get rid of. For example, I have a really old dog. She's 15 years old, which for dog it's a lot. And to be honest, she just smells like old dog. My whole home gets the scent from her, which is tricky. This is also the part when you where you want to think about fresh air. So for example, I'm opening my windows pretty frequently because I don't want I want the air to flow and I want to keep it fresh. You can actually hear her probably in the background. But as I said, you can also add some smells that maybe will cover up other as pleasant smells. Or maybe if you have something that doesn't smell good, then you should find a source. Maybe it's something that you can get rid of or just clean, because sometimes, I don't know, a rag can absorb smells from around. So maybe you can clean it and just switch. The sense of taste is a little bit tricky, but also is connected to the sense of smell. So you can cook or bake something and then your house will smell of this item, which is related to your sense of taste. The other way that I like to implement the sense of taste is to show some of the foods in my kitchen. For example, fruits in fruit bowl. And once again, I like to do it seasonally so that the interior of my home represents what's going on outside and the change of the seasons. So it keeps it interesting and makes me feel more connected to nature. And the last sense is the sense of sight, which, as I said, gets the most attention from us while designing, while decorating. Only two things here. I would suggest that you care of your lighting situation. You want to implement warm light. It's better for our bodies. They feel more relaxed in this type of lighting. Colder light is better for war and it keeps you more alert. So I don't really believe this is something that you want in your home. In your home you should feel at ease, you should be calm and at peace. If you want more advice on how to make your apartment look good, then I believe this playlist on decorating your home is something that you should watch next. If you have enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. If you want to see more from me, remember to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.